Hi folks, guess what? It's gonna be a caravan corner again. Anyway, pause it here. Go and get yourself a cup of tea or coffee. Come back, we're gonna have a little chat. See you in a bit. We're back. Right, hope you've got your nice cup of tea or coffee. Thought we'd just introduce you first to our, uh, our pets that live with us here. Hello, my name's Rocky. This is Rocky. He's 10 year old Labrador. Jessie, sit down. This one's Chestnut. She's a uh, Patterdale and is always on the hunt. That's why she wants to go now. <laughs> she wants to go and get some uh, meese or rats. She's always on the lookout. <laughs> but I'll let her go because she wants to be on guard and then we can have a chat. Go on in. Come on then, go down. Go down, Rooks. Oh, good boy. He's so <laughs> big, isn't he? Anyway, just uh, have a little chat here about what we're doing. We've got a, um, a video coming on the end of this which is um, uh, giving you the grand tour, really, of the um, the, the farmhouse. farmhouse yep. Sorry, I was just looking down there. The dog nearly knocked the, uh, the stand over. Tripod. Anyway, so it's about, uh, it's just a tour of the house, how it is. We're trying to ex uh, uh, explain in there, you know, bits we've already done up to this stage. Uh, so you can get some sort of context of that. Um, and we just wanted to... <clears throat> Just give you an idea, uh, uh, you know, of the feel of the house, and yeah. you know, maybe you, you. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit of a building site, but you should, I'm sure you might, you know, enjoy watching it anyway, won't they, Trey? Yes, I think they will. And then, and obviously, you'll be able to see um, the future plans of each room, um, what we're going to do, um, and also, really, today, I, I just really wanted to explain to everyone um one of the reasons why we actually chose to move to france and one of our criterias on our list was that we wanted land we wanted it to be over two maybe three acres um because back in the uk um we um practiced a no dig um in our garden that was grown vegetables fruit trees um also we had chickens mm -hmm. Um, so we were technically what you would call, I suppose, in America, homesteaders um, and probably the rest of the world um, living self-sufficiently. And yeah. that's something that we wanted to do here, didn't we? In well, France. we followed um, a system from Ch Charles, didn't we? Yeah, Charles Downing. Downing, who's a YouTuber and uh, we've been following him for years now. Yeah. And, uh, we picked up so many good ideas from him uh, and simplifying, growing and keeping, uh, you know, uh, vegetables growing healthy and strong in a natural way no chemicals but you you probably all know about him or you look him up anyway yeah you'll see him on youtube and also um you are a beekeeper aren't you yep. and um one of the main things that we are actually it's all in the planning now um is to grow lavender yeah well that'll be another video yeah right because we want to we want to do a video of of what we're going to show you today mm -hmm. um which we done a little while ago really didn't yes, we? we but did. it's, we're going to show you it now um just going to link also, it all together yeah link it and then also we want to show you a video of the cottage we've got as well it's a small uh, mid terrace cottage if you like um and we've got a big barn and i want to take you on a tour of that of another one in another show where we want to show you the barn and what we're we're looking planning to do there and yeah create there uh, it's two it's going to be over two floors um There's and then a separate woodland as well yeah well there, attached to we'll, the barn? We'll, we'll join that in with the land one won't we yeah. right so we'll have the woodlands and the, and the land uh, and the woodlands is really for us for self-sufficiency so we can grow uh, our energy yeah. which is uh you know feeding the arga the two wood burners we'll have in there but also there's some old buildings here that uh, have got a bit of history they've been hit in the war by tank fire in the second world war um and they were never rebuilt again they just left down to yeah. be ruined so there's a little bit of interest there for people who are into second history. world war stuff history um so that'll be another video so there's there's a couple of good videos two or three hopefully that will come along and give you an idea of what we've got here yeah. and what we're planning to do with this in the future um and this is a long-term thing this is not going to be done in a few months or so no. you know this is going to be well a couple of years probably doing all of what we're doing and we're going to document that uh lives sh sharing it with you guys of how we you know we're going forwards with all this yep and that's it really isn't it yeah 
I think you'll enjoy um, our journey. Yeah. And um, again, we'd like to say a big thank you to our new followers. Yes, definitely. And all the, oh, the fantastic comments, comments we've had. Comments are unbelievable. I Just, didn't realise people on YouTube are so nice, you know. I know there's going to be um, some bad ones eventually, we know. But, you know, we, we felt that we've had all positivity all the way through Definitely. and uh you know we're not here to be judged anyway we're just here to show you what we're doing and hope you enjoy it and if you take out with it what you do what you like um and basically that's it really isn't yes, it? you it know is. we've uh we, we we're sorry about the uh caravan corners all the time <laughs> um but they're gonna have to be a few to give you an idea of where we're going right hi folks um, we're gonna do a uh little tour for you of this um farmhouse cottage if you like well it's a farmhouse really um so this is the front of it in this room here is the front room this is the part of the house we're doing up at the moment so you've got we're gonna have a front room in here going upstairs into a bedroom up here with a small shower room at the back and then up to the very top which will be the loft area um there'll be a uh, sort of come a, be a bedroom come sort of craft room for you when it trace yeah, yeah that's right okay then going over to this side behind this arish railing there's a there's going to be a kitchen that you go through the front door and into there we'll take you into a big kitchen area which we'll be creating and then above that we'll have a another bedroom and at the back of that there'll be a big bathroom and then further over that side up there We've got a little hallway with a man cave and then above that again another little bedroom and then down uh, here is a um it's just a little outside storage shed of, of such anyway let's uh let's go in and uh, go on a little tour and give you an idea of what we've got here and what we're doing let's go so starting with the outside storage if you like um i hope i can get this film it's a bit dark in here but this is just going to be like an outside sheddy sort of thing where we keep like lawnmowers and things like that, I suppose. But as you can see above, I've built a new floor up here and then coming over to um, here, you can see I've built a, a wall here that goes all the way around. I'll, I'll put some pictures up with that because I've done some steels. Um, give you a better idea, I suppose. Sorry about the gimbal, it's a little bit there you go anyway so that gives you an idea what this is in here and the work we've done above now we're going to the main house so we're going to main house now the door. Try so this is going to be our front room um we've done a lot of work in here in terms of like i've had to rebuild all the floor because it's completely it was so dangerous it's unbelievable um and what they do is they have like a little chevron along here and they put the little floors on which are only like two and a half inches the joists so i've put proper joists i've notched them over the beams all the way through unfortunately we lose the uh the the joist bottoms that show oak but we could always add that on as a, a later feature like a false you know uh oak beams going across there but we're keeping the main integral big beams and tracy's going to be doing a job on them uh in the future and some upstairs we'll show you that late another time anyway so if you're coming in now we got over here, I'm going to try and use this uh, gimbal, I'm really sorry. There's a fireplace there, and at the back of the fireplace I've lime, point, uh, lime plastered it with a horsehair lime and then put a finishing coat on top. Uh, to give you a bit more perspective, we've got above it, we've got some uh, granite stones, so that's a nice feature we're going to keep. And then over this side, which I'll try and get around the lights, sorry about that. Um, so these stone walls we're going to plaster, but we're going to leave all the keystones exposed, uh, which are granite. Give you an idea up there. And coming back again this way. So 
a stair. Sorry about this filming. Right, the staircase is over here, which goes up to the next floor. Um, and if we go over here, Tracy's going to walk past. We've got a, another stone wall, which will be the back wall in our front room, if you like, which is all pointed up lovely by Tracy. And then over in this corner is our um, consumer unit box, which is going to go there. I'm going to be doing all that. If you can see, I've put a lot of cables that are all really for this floor and the above floor. And you can see up in the uh, in the joist space, I've laid all the cables in, ready for all the lighting, uh, and also the back of this uh, unit. We ain't staying there. That's a temporary thing, isn't it, Trey? That's going in the kitchen, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're going to put that in the kitchen, and we're going to do put the clock somewhere else. But behind that, I've just put a false wall up, which we've got our mains water over in that corner. So I'm going to panel that out like a false panel in and then create an access point for there. And then we've got all our electrics running down the back of that as well. And we're going to have paneling, which you can't see because the plasterboard's there, all behind yeah. there at a height. Oh, over here, yeah, hang on. Yeah, it's going to so be really nice. Just because where Tracy's talking about now is behind this plasterboard here. You can just see the stud work there. You can have some false panelling, nice shelf, and then some lighting over there, which will be beautiful. So we're trying to create a lovely, warm, ambient feel in here, which in at the moment it's quite cold, even though it's nice and warm outside. <laughs> and then we've got our back door here. Um, we're going to put some new glass in that. Uh, whether we keep that one or not, I'm not sure, because I'm hoping to build some sort of like an orangery that you go through there and you sit outside and it's like a sunroom, if you like. Anyway, let's take you upstairs. Okay, now we're upstairs. This is uh, going to be mine and Tracy's bedroom. Um, we put a nice uh, wood burner in there. Tracy's done some work on the fireplace with the oil and grouting. Over here, this is the new floor down here, which we're going to put a nice floor on top, but that's the subfloor if you like. Then over here, so this is the uh, plaster work. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. The light, yeah. But this is the lime plaster I've done and left the keystones exposed, which are all granite. Um, and I've just, that was a horsehair plaster I put on there. But I've got to uh, put um, another finishing coat of plaster on there, which I'll probably make up a nice hot lime mix and uh, do a sift and fine, you know, to make it really nice. Um, and a quick look up here. Got some work to do on this beam up here yet. Um, oh, I can't get that gimbal to turn. I think the batteries might be going actually. But anyway, sorry about this uh, focusing. So, we plasterboard this back wall, put up a stud wall there. I've left a gap there, so it, all it was so I can bring the plasterboards up the stairs and then push them through the gap. Makes it quite easier than trying to come around. Um, but, we plasterboard this wall and insulated it, and all the other walls have been insulated. Um, and then Tracy's got some of her tiles she wants to put in the bathroom, or a little shower room we're going to have at the back here. Um, is there a light in there, Trey? Is there a light in there? Yeah, let's have a look. So this is where we're going to have a little shower room. Um, and Tracy's done a uh, lined all this wall. She's been like the she is now the pointing queen, as I said in one of my videos before. I will have to have a crown, won't I? Yeah. Um, and people have seen it on Instagram a lot, anyway. So, and then I've just put some uh, down lighters in the ceiling, and uh, we're just going to put a small sink over here sorry 
there'll be a small sink there and then a shower in the corner which will be over this side and that'll be it pretty much but uh tracy will do all the decorating what are you thinking of tracy i've just showed him the tiles but in here for because there's not going to be a lot of um walls to paint is there really because we're going to have white matte tiles just above the sink level oops sorry so i can't, I can't actually, get used to this gimbal <laughs> i've actually ordered um farron balls french gray yeah which i think will go nice with yeah, that'd be nice yeah sort of moroccan sort of victorian style um tiles so, so a little bit opulent but yeah. nice yeah anyway let's just uh color, let's go well. now let's move upstairs to a little lofty space um so coming up the stairs uh, we haven't done nothing to these walls yet that's the old plot lime that's on there if i just pan around this is a loft space which we're not sure yet are we trace whether it's going to be a bedroom or a crafting room well i'd like to have it as a crafting room obviously to do all my knitting my crochet making curtains i'm going to start doing upholstery yeah but also I would like to maybe have a sofa bed so it's not going to be a wasted space. No, that's right, thing. yeah, so, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's actually a lovely size, isn't it? So we've got a ballon over there. In France it's called a ballon. It's a water heating system. It just heats up by electricity. And, uh, sorry, um, and then um, it's, uh, you know, this, it's all it's going to serve is the shower below, which is in that little shower room. Then I'm just going to show you over here. Um, if I could get this to turn around. Right. So here. Just here. I'm going to build a stud work. To the staircase. So let me just get this to point down. Right. So I'm going to build a stud work here. And then coming back this way. I'm going to create a little hallway. With a doorway. So it blocks off this loft space. We will insulate all the loft space. Everywhere. But this stops all the heat from the house coming up here and running out the, uh, out of the roof. So that'll be a little project I'll show you just putting it together. Um, and then panning up to the ceiling space. You've got this lovely kingpin A-frame that holds the main part of the roof together. It's only one in here because it's a small little roof or room. Um, but we're going to insulate all in the space between leaving the air gap so that the uh the uh you know don't get no moisture and condensation and then down in these roughly from these little purlins straight down there'll be a false wall along there with an access point and same on the other side so you can uh so we can store stuff run util uh, things like electrics and plumbing and the bits we need to come up here and basically, it's, that's it up here, isn't it, Trace? We don't even know what we're going to decorate, are we? Not at the moment. Um, this wall behind you, I think I might point that. I'm not sure yet. See what you think. Oops, hang on. Hang on, hang on, Trey. Look. I've got to show you this, guys. Let's come around here. How about that lot? Copper. Coming out of our ear rolls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, Hello. So we're not sure what we're doing up here, do not we? Not at the moment, because obviously we're taking one floor at a time, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. So, but I'll, things are flowing through my mind at the moment, so I'm sure I'll let you know in time. Anyway, so we're going to the other part of the house now. Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, so now we're going from the front room, which was the first room we're coming downstairs, into what will be our kitchen space. Uh, it's a, it ain't a kitchen at the moment, nowhere near. It's a bit of a workshop at the moment. I've set it up as. So I want to make all my windows. And I'm also going to be making some windows for some good friends of ours, Terry and um, Ashley at Chateau de la... I can never say that. What was it, Trace? It's Chateau de la la Cell. De la la Cell. De la la Cell, excuse me. Right. Anyway, so I've just... Uh, set this up because a couple of days ago I was there and I picked up their old uh, uh, doors and windows as patterns so I can make them and also they want to use keep them for uh, for giving to their patrons eventually um, but so I've set up a workshop so here we have the old forge this was a forge here this is all wattle and daub all oak 
which has been here for hundreds of years. Underneath here, I built, let's get away from that light for you. I built some uh, walls and lime pointed them, uh, lime, lime plastered them, I keep saying that. Lime plastered everything. And that space there, we're gonna have a, an Arga range in there, which we've got. Uh, and that will um, be for Tracy's for doing all her cooking shows and that thing she wants to do. Then up here, I'm gonna pan upwards now. So we've got these old beams here, there's two of them. Big old, most if they're seven meters long. Um, this is nearly seven meters wide, this, this building, from front to back if you like. But they're a little bit in a bad state. They could be reused, but I've actually got two new beams to go in their space now outside, which is going to be a big mammoth job for us. But on top of there, I'm going to build another floor. And then at the back here, where this uh, Velux is, this will be uh, a big bathroom here. And then at the front side, which if I turn around, hang on. Uh, so we're going that way. I'll go slowly because this gimbal's got a mind of its own. I think the batteries are going, but anyway. So on this side will be the bedroom. And there's a dormer window there, which I'll be making windows for there and for the kitchen and so on. Um, and also I'll be making a new barn style door there. So it can half open into the kitchen for Tracy in the summer and that. And then in there, there's going to be a staircase going up to the man cave. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Right. So that's that. Um, and then at the back here, Tracy's done a pantry. We ain't got a light, I'm really sorry, but there's a big pantry in here. Tracy's pointed it all out beautifully. Once we get some lights, I'll show you that again in the future. But we're going to shelve it out with oak shelves all the way around and just use it as keep all our produce that we grow and Tracy makes stuff with. Anyway, let's go up to this part of the house now. And show you what's over there here we go this is the part we're going up now from the kitchen here i'm going to make a staircase going up to this floor here i've built this um uh, block wall in here which is a four inch heavy concrete block wall just to stop access from the outside so we'll go up here now i rebuilt all this floor up here as well when well, there was no floor here properly so i'm climbing the ladder so bear with me we couldn't actually get up here, could we, when we first... No, we couldn't. So, Trace, explain what we're doing here. Right, What's this here? is our um, small um, entrance hall. Yeah. Um, here, I've already pointed the walls here. This is going to be all plasterboarded on this side. And probably it will be an amalgamation of probably a wallpaper on this side. And then on this side, we're going to um, line plaster this, aren't we? That's right. On so this. I'll just focus around to there on here there'll be a new window here nice little uh, box sash window i'm going to make go in there slider and shutters and then shutters on the outside yeah all the whole house can have shutters i'm going to make so on this wall we're going to lime plaster it yeah right we are. and we'll probably do a, a lime paint won't we so Finish. just before we go on to the next little room trace can i just go back in yeah. here now this here i'm going to go downwards Going to make a little staircase going up here, just a two-step staircase, which will take us. So you can see it's on this floor. It's going to go on right, and that'll take us into a top of where the top of these new beams will be going. And then look at that beautiful old forge over there. That was a uh, this property was called La Cloutier, which meant um, nail maker in French. He was a nail maker, the fella that made this, and he made all the bits of metal that you'll probably see around this building. Anyway, let's focus, sorry, wrong way, up. So up here, this is going to be a nice high-volted bedroom. Um, coming over to this side, you've got the dormer window there, which I'll make a new box sash window in there as well. All these, these walls, this is a big project we've got to talk about, actually. This part of the wall to that beam there, all the way up, is coming out. I'm taking it down. But it'll probably be in the spring now. I've got to shore the roof up, take it all down and rebuild it. It's actually cracked away from over there and it's falling forwards. So we're going to do it properly before we get to this stage. But the main thing for us is to get in the other part of the house so we can start living. And then I can come back to these sort of things 
And then over there will be the bathroom, which will be a nice high vaulted bathroom again. And then we'll build over the back. There'll be a full ceiling coming off that beam, uh, sort of over that way. And then there'll be, we'll put up another um, hot water tank, which will be fed by the Arga, which will be down there in, in the kitchen, if you like. Anyway, so let's uh, let's get back to where we were. So Trace, going into there, where are we going into now? This is oh, the special oh, room, on. by the way. <laughs> Am I allowed in here? Um, well, hang on. I'll let you in if you're bringing food and tea and beer up. But that's oh, about it. Sure. <laughs> so now we enter da, 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 the man cave that needs to be done. <laughs> this will be, yeah, this will be the man cave. We're calling it the man cave, but it's just a room where we can have all the computers um, and my guns and things like that in safes um, just to... I think we'll call it a man cave. Yeah, a man cave, fair <laughs> enough, all right. Anyway, so there we go. Um, what's the light like here? So we've got Especially Tracy's uh, little buy she bought the other day, look. So she's a, she's pre-buying things. We haven't even done the house yet. <laughs> no, but I have to reupholster these. Yeah, you will. So They'll be that's nice. That's going to be a big job. So Tracy's got some chairs to reupholster. Be a project as well. You can Lovely. put on YouTube. I can't wait to get cracking in there. That'll be fantastic. But it's a long way off for that one, don't we, Tracy? Yeah, definitely. And then we've got some uh, my gun stuff over here. I've got me safe. It's all f like about eight bolts to the wall, great big bolts, nearly as thick as the wall. Anyway, that's it. We actually it. had to lift that up, didn't we? Oh, that was a nightmare, wasn't it, Trey? Yeah. And then coming around here, right, so this, this, uh, let's point upwards, this is another floor which I built up here, okay? And this, this will be the staircase coming down there, okay? And this will be a little bedroom up here, and I'm going to pop my head up, so bear with me, because I'm going to go up some ladders. All right. Uh, so you can see I've built some little false walls there. We've got a, a close in the back walls because it's still got daylight coming in, um, which we'll be doing as a project. So see these little false walls here I've done with access doors, they'll be there. And up the top um, here, I've created a little ceiling by making these as tie collars. And they're bolted in to their rafters that come down to tie it all in to create the A-frame, which strengthens up the roof. The roof's got her uh, tiles on it, slate tiles, proper. I think they're uh, Spanish or, are they Spanish or Welsh? Can't remember, Trey. Spanish, I think, yeah, Spanish. They're a the tile, but they're quite heavy. But uh, this little room here would be for mates or whoever's staying over, or if I'm in the bad books and I'm up too late in the man cave, Tracy will be sending me off to her, uh, to, <laughs> I'm going to come down here. from the outside. <laughs> yeah, she'll be sending me off to here, up into that room. Anyway, guys. Oh, sorry, I was Trace. Just yes. Say, you, you're thinking as well, obviously, you're going to put a new window in here. Yeah. This is going to have an oak sill, but you were thinking maybe of having a Juliet bathroom because that's a lovely Yeah, we, balcony. balcony, yeah, not bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> oh, I won't mind if Juliet visited me in the bathroom, but anyway. <laughs> sorry. No more. No, no smart. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I, I got you. Yeah, we were talking about yeah. this, weren't we? We were talking so about So outside here, we were thinking of having a little uh, nice oak built with nice uh, corbelling or, you know, um, gallows in to create a nice balcony area with uh, some hand railing round. So we could actually step out here, which would, would be quite I a nice, nice idea. Yeah, it'd be lovely then. It's not a priority, but it's something we could think about in the future. In the I mean, future, it's on definitely. It's the list, isn't it? The to-do list. And so. then uh, one thing I can't show you really now, but if I stood back at the wall, I could. But see this beam here, right? This is original in here, this oak beam. And it's got look like, like a little bow in it. But actually, when I stand at the back of the room, it reminds me of being on like the old ships, like like you know HMS Victory or something like that. It's just got that feel about it because these are quite low ceiling as well. Which, uh, but we'll sort of bring that out a bit more once we get these chairs out of the way and the you insulation. Could maybe, like you were talking, do some carving on the beam. Oh yeah, I think that'd, that'd be a good nice. idea. I was going to do some uh, some like Celtic knot work along these beams with a dragon's head because I like a bit of carving and that as well. But that's a later stage when we've got ourselves and time that's the only problem in life isn't it not enough time you need three lifetimes to just have a life yeah. <laughs> anyway guys that's uh that's this uh house for you hopefully you enjoyed that and uh we'll catch up speak to you all soon bye, bye.